What's up guys, it's Herp Time. We just got a huge shipment from Germany and we are going to unbox it. Herp Time unboxing video. Come close, Ed. Reptile Rope is here helping me film. Thankfully I have him and oh my gosh. This is more lizards than I remembered uh, ordering. But, we're going to take good care of them and there's a lot of crazy stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these I don't think have been in the United States before. I'm not going to open everything, but just some of the exciting stuff that um, I'm excited about. These are... What are these? These are Anola's Transversalis. So, let me grab my knife. These are a uh, mainland species. Most of these species are going to come from islands in the Caribbean, but this comes from these come from Peru. And this is a pair in here, if we can get it open. And they're very hard to breed in captivity. I'm not sure anyone has. And there goes one. That is a female. The females have that candy cane pattern. Come here, girl. And then let's show you a male. The males don't have much of a pattern at all, or much less than the females. Come on, girl. Anyway, that's why we're not gonna open every package because that's what will happen with all of them. They had a long journey, so this is stressing them a little. So we're gonna put them back and we're gonna keep looking at what we have. They have really, really, really blue eyes, but I'll get better footage of that later. Okay, we have some Anolis Roquette. This whole wall is Anolis Roquette, so they'll feel right at home with everything else here. I'm gonna make room here. Anolis Roquette. What do we have here? Marmoratus, I can't tell which type. They're young, young uh, females. These are some Barchi. So Barchi are the Cuban cliffinol. Uh, these are babies, or young males. Okay, this is, I don't know how to say it, Bajarcarensis. Uh, these are really cool to me. They are. Sm this is a full-grown male and then full-grown female. It's called the long-snouted anole. They're from Hispaniola. I have a bunch of those, but can never have too many. Sabanus. These are still young, so you can't see, but they literally have the coolest leopard print. I have some adults, and I breed them. Uh, these are Marmoratus. This is Capistere. You can kind of see the orange head on that one. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. There'll be others. Here's one. Same exact thing. There's a big male. Obviously, he's going to be out of here in a second, so. Make a long trip from Germany. Now he's here. And we have a few of those, actually. There's just more kind of random anoles that I already have. More Bartsai. Um... Farious, these are really cool. The males get probably like 16, 18 inches long and have huge sail fins. These are still young ones. Desert Dei, I have some of those already. More Farious females. Can never have too many females. Lividus females. Those are, I probably, I am the only other one. I sold some of mine, but other than those, I'm the only one with them. More Bartsai. I got a lot of Bartsai. This is an Austro Cat. Summus Macuba, that's a really cool male with an all black head. I have some here, but this is a much more black head than the ones I have. What else do we have? More Barchai. I got a lot of Barchai, so if anyone wants any, I'll have extra. Uh, Triniatus, they're a green, they're not a green and all, but they have a green color and they have really bright blue around their eyelids. They're a really cool species. They're, there's more Triniatus, you can kind of see really bright blue on the eyelids. And they're a bigger body than a green and all, obviously. They look more like a roquette body or a marmoratus body. Or Bartsai. Or Bartsai. Or Triniatus. A lot of this is so other people can start getting into these cool anoles because I can't make enough sometimes. So uh, more Bartsai and more Triniatus. These are marmoratus shoots du cabaret. So these are a cold species of marmoratus. Um, they have extremely red heads and they live by a waterfall in one place, and uh, they can't really get above 85 degrees, so it's already getting a little hot in here for them. Um, Pogus, I have some down there. Lividus, more Lividus. 
Uh, what are these? More Triniatus. Triniatus. Lividus. Archi. More Marmoratus. Watsi. They're kind of, they're cool. They're, a, they're more of a brown, but they have a blue around their eye. Nothing too special. More Marmoratus. That's a normal Marmoratus versus the Capistere has more of the orange on its head. These ones have just a few yellow dots. More Lividus. More Watsi. Uh, Marmoratus Choice Riviere. They have like a leopard print and they are a bright green. Uh, more Capisteri. Look at that thing. Crazy. Let's see what else we have. Farius. Pogus. Bimaculatus. Desert Dei. A lot of the same stuff just to get established here. Now these, I'm excited for. These are Polycurus Peruvianus. Let's pull this big guy out. This is the male, and I have two females with him. This is the most exciting thing, in my opinion, in this shipment. These, I think they've been here before, but I don't think anyone has them anymore here, so it will be cool if they get breeding here, because they are just a crazy species. Let's grab my knife. All these crazy lizards everywhere. What do you think, Ed? What's the coolest one so far? That thing's cool. Yeah, this thing's cool. <laughs> I've been staring at that thing the whole video. I know, I've been saving <laughs> it for last. So this is Polycurus peruvianus. It's similar, uh, same genus as the Polycurus marmoratus, which is the uh, monkey anole, which a lot of people have. Uh, and some people are breeding in the U.S. now. Hopefully get these breeding here in the U.S. And... Uh, have two females for him so hopefully he'll get busy and we'll set him up a nice cage I'll make a video of making that cage and yeah so now let's put him away actually I'll keep him he's pretty docile let's see what else we have Triniatus Triniatus lots of Triniatus because they're fun and people will enjoy stuff like that uh, these are more Marmoratus I don't even that's where they're from and they look more, they're really cool. I don't even, I've never seen any like that, so that's exciting. Didn't even know they were coming. More Baharensis, more Baharensis, and that's it. That's a lot of cool lizards in one package, and I'm sweating because it's like 85 degrees in here. So now the work begins getting these all set up, put away, and uh, hopefully breeding. And if anyone's interested in gnolls, you know where to go. Um, it's herp time, and thank you, Reptile Rope, for filming me. Herp hard or no herp?